There's nothing more frustrating than buying assets, throwing them into a scene, and then realizing your purchase is a little less than perfect, causing newly placed materials to look crooked, warped, or choppy. This is usually caused by bad UVs, and it's easier to fix than you might think. If you learned something, don't forget to hit thumbs up and subscribe. Links to the tools I use will be down in the description, and they're well worth the investment, even if this isn't something specific that you do on a regular basis. They can help in a huge range of situations while modeling or setting up scenes. If you're interested in getting some free assets that have already been fixed, head to the link in the description to retrovioletstudios.com, sign up for the email list, and receive a pack of free assets. Now, let's start the sim. First, let me go over the tools I'll be using today. First, Instant Clean, which cleans up mistakes and errors in your meshes, from deleting duplicate vertices to correcting manifold issues and evening out topology to be all tries or quads. Many of the errors you'll come across while modeling can be attributed to things that can be fixed in a single click with Instant Clean. Next, we'll use Unwrap Me, which does a lot of work for a simple UV tool, including what we'll use it for today, which is making face selections based on curvature. I'll get into Unwrap Me in more detail in the future, so make sure you're subscribed and keep an eye out. Packmaster 3 is the last tool we'll use, and it can get pretty complicated, but today we're going to keep it simple and only use a couple basic functions. If you do any amount of UVing, especially if you work with UDIM tiles, you're going to want to make this investment as soon as possible. This is another tool we'll cover more in the future. So let's start fixing today's model, a simple looking couch. It may look fine when first imported, but as soon as you put on a more complicated material than what it came with, you can see all sorts of misprints. This is caused by messy, usually auto-generated UVs, but it's easy to fix, although sometimes it can be a little time consuming depending on the complexity of the model. The first step is to clean the mesh. If the UV is messy, there's a chance the mesh is imperfect as well. Open Instant Clean and run Repair, Manifold, and Topology to clean it up a bit. Pop into Edit Mode on the UV tab and let's get started. Using Unwrap Me, select a face on each side and choose Select by Curvature. Play with the power and angle sliders to get the most of the section. Oftentimes you'll still have to go through and select faces that got missed, usually around the edges and corners of your section. Once you're happy with your selection, hit U again and select Unwrap. Then we can just move on to the next area. Go around the entire mesh section by section repeating these steps. Unwrap me, select by curvature, adjust as needed, manually select faces if needed, and unwrap. Sometimes you'll find faces that are missing. If they're not visible from any viewing angle, it's okay to skip these, but sometimes holes can cause you to select parts of the mesh you didn't mean to select. To fill those, switch to Edge Select, select all the edges that are surrounding the gap, and hit F to fill. Then you can switch back to Face Select and get back to unwrapping your mesh. Once you've done all of the sections of your mesh, we need to clean up and pack the new UVs. In the viewport, hit A to select the whole mesh, then select all in the UV window. You'll see now all the unwraps you just made looking crazy messy and doing a lot of overlapping. You might notice a lot of little islands, which are bits of the mesh that you didn't unwrap. A lot of the times those are little spots that aren't visible anyway, but you can sometimes tell that they're important areas, so you can go back and unwrap them before moving on. I forgot my feet, so let's do those first. When you use the same technique to unwrap that we've used on the rest of the couch, these UVs are coming out really bad with overlap and distortion, and in this case that's happening because the software couldn't quite figure out how to unwrap this, so let's make it easier by adding a seam to show Blender where to cut and flatten this section of the mesh. You can see that this unwrap looks a lot better now, so I'll just repeat that seam, select, unwrap for each foot. Now let's go back to where we left off. Select all in the viewport and then all in the UV window. Open up Packmaster and the default settings here are mostly okay. One thing we're gonna change here is just to select normalize scale. What this does is when you pack your islands, it'll automatically scale your UVs to the same texel density, meaning your material will be the same scale across your whole object. Sometimes the rotation will get a little off during this step, so just find your crooked islands, rotate in the UV windows, and repack with rotation turned off in Packmaster. Here that didn't quite work and that's because of the length and curvature of this part of the mesh, so let's make some seams here and repack one more time. Now we have a little bit better control over this area and we can fix it up as needed. The last thing to do here is double check your mesh to make sure you're happy. If you need to rotate any UVs to do that and repack before you finish up, go ahead and do that. You may still need to create material IDs for certain parts of your mesh, and you can use the Unwrap Me tool again to easily select parts of your mesh and do that. Once you're done, place the finished mesh in your scene, save it as an asset, and export. This technique can come in handy when you're doing anything with an organic mesh, but also also works with non-organic models. Don't forget, we've got links down in the description for you to get all of these tools and to get a fixed up asset pack for yourself from Retroviolet Studios by signing up for their email list. If you like this video and learned something, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. Are these tools you've used before? Let us know down in the comments and of course, as always, until next time, take care of yourself and each other.